friends, I'm back. You asked where I was, had stuff going on. I was busy. As my neighbor once said, I was busier than a three-legged cat in a sandbox. He cracks me up. He's gone now and he was just such a fun neighbor. Anyway, um, I've been busy. I have a couple craft sales that I'm in and I also had a few deaths in our family and sometimes grief can overcome the creativity in you. So it takes a bit. Give yourself the time to grieve. You'll get your creativity back. Just wait for it. That when you're ready, you'll get back out there and you'll start crafting again. So I hope if you've had any sadness in your life, that this is an inspiration to you and something that you can make using all the DIY products that I show you today. If you need any DIY products, you can shop at thepaintingphotographer.com and I'll ship them right to your front door. Now, follow along as I show you how to make this metallic finish. Have you seen everyone's painting these candlesticks gold? Gold. Do you know how many gold candlesticks I've painted? I've covered up. Now, what I'm going to do is attempt to make these into more metallic. DIY has a number of metallic paints, patinas that you can use. This one is Pennies from Heaven. This is my favorite. It's almost gone. This is Golden Ticket. Then there's a new guy in town and it's called The Golden Rule. We're gonna attempt to use them all on these candlesticks and see what happens. I have a different look for these candlesticks that I'm going for this time, so I'm going to paint them solid black. I'm just using the DIY paint and painting them all black. They're going to be amazing as soon as you see what I'm gonna do with these. The color that they are is not bad, but I think they'll just look stunning in black. They did have a lot of wax in them. So what we did is you couldn't get in there to get it out. So we took a torch and we heated them, them up, melted the wax, and then wiped all the melted wax out of them. So they're free of wax. DIY paint can go over metal, plastic, glass, wood, you name it. It's versatile. It's five times more pigmented than most paints. So this is going to be one coat of black and it's gonna be good. Just wait till you see how they're finished. We're gonna coat these black candlesticks with some big top. I wanna to put some gold on them, but I don't want the gold to suck into that chalk base paint. I have a container that it has dirty big top on it. What that means is you should never stick your brush inside the DIY big top because it'll make it spoil and get a little skunky. So I have this extra container and I pour about as much as I think I'm going to need into this container. Then I seal this one back up and I work out of this one that is the dirty big top. And if this one spoils, it's okay because there's not much in here. It's still usable when it gets a little stinky, but I just don't like it. I don't like it to be stinky smelling. So we're going to go ahead and just put some big top on these. They'll take a few minutes to dry. Big Top dries pretty quickly and we'll get right to the next step. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. All right, I have them open. This one doesn't look like much, but let me tell you, it sparkles. And this one, that's all I have left. That's the bottom of the jar. But. I can't waste a thing, so we're gonna use it. So I have just a regular artist paintbrush and I'm gonna dip into my golden ticket and brush on some golden ticket. Making it stretch as far as it can. And 
this is patina. So we're gonna wanna let that dry. One with gold, one without. Okay, it's probably already pretty cool with the gold on it, but we're gonna go in with some copper and I'm just gonna brush some on in random space and then I'm gonna brush it off. The shine when it's dark from so far away and show us giving it like a tarnished metal look. It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Ooh, I wonder. Ooh, I just... It doesn't add much, but it adds a little more shine to it. You can see it's added just a little bit more coppery glow. It's all about layers, guys. Just keep putting stuff on. Keep doing it till you like it. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far? Now we're gonna go in with some black wax. Another layer, my friends. Go to sleep every night, and what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Now wipe it off. Just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? <laughs> We're making this thing look old. Look at that beautiful color. It is a beautiful metallic with some tarnished age to it. Now, this product called golden rule is a wax it separates a little bit so you have to stir it every time you want to use it stir in that wax it's so soft and it goes on like a charm and it's so fun i apply it with a small artist brush i have the same one So it's going to go on like the other waxes. It's just going to give it, oh my gosh, it's giving it such a metallic shine, guys. This is so cool. And then you're going to rub some of it back. No golden rule. Golden rule. Oh, so cute. So here I am, I'll finish with the video once again, dressed up for another funeral. Thank you very much for watching and I appreciate every single one of you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you need any of these DIY paints that created these projects or any other ones, please shop at thepaintedphotographer.com and I'll ship them right to your front door. I hope I've inspired you to walk through the grief and get creating again. Just give yourself the time that you need because we all need time to grieve and we all will get back into creating. So thank you again. How many times did you paint over finish that looked like this? Now we're making it. Everything comes around, right? Thank you so much. And until next time, happy painting. stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every